that chat window. So I am TJ Walsis with Pixar Post and uh, Domi and Lindsay. I am beyond excited to be able to talk to you both about this. Domi, obviously, I've been able to talk to you before on Bow, uh, and Lindsay, you and I have never had the chance to talk, so it's a first, and I love it. So, right. uh, so the first thing I usually like to do is geek out. Now I know I have a pretty small window, so I'm going to geek out quick. The <laughs> color, the color palette of this movie is to die for. The whole like emerald and fire. I'm like in our in our live hangouts, I was calling it turquoise mint and pink raspberry. But where did that originate from? Because I'm obsessed with the color tones. They look amazing. Yeah, that's a uh, give full credit to Rona Liu, our production designer and the amazing art team for coming up and the lighting team for coming up with the palette for the movie. Uh, you know, we wanted from the beginning for the world to reflect our protagonist, Mei Li. Yeah. Uh, and she's a spunky, confident, dorky, like bursting with energy, 13 year old Chinese Canadian girl. <laughs> and we really wanted the world to have that Asian teen fever dream kind of quality. So we really pushed the colors to feel fresh and young and exciting, like like her and also reflect her emotions. Like when she's feeling really ugh, like stressed and embarrassed, <laughs> like, like completely uh, drop the world away behind her. And shine yeah. Her yeah. Like you talked about with the spotlight and everything. Yeah. All yeah. So the other thing that fever dream is going to be a new Instagram filter. Oh, totally. Yeah. And it should. <laughs> that and the whole world just becomes an Asian teen fever. Dream. <laughs> So we heard a lot of comments about your influence, uh, Domi, from the anime world. Mm -hmm. The tears and how they look and how water reacts, it's it's so much thicker. It's like a glucose or something like that. How did that originate? Where did that come from? Yeah, that was Dave Hale, uh, our uh, effects supervisor and the whole effects team, um, just iterating and trying to come up with a way to stylize liquid yeah <laughs> for a movie uh they actually showed me like a couple early tests of you know that that shot where we snap zoom into may's face and there's beads of sweat yeah uh the first pass was like literally it looked like realistic water pouring <laughs> down her face yeah. which is really funny too but uh i was like is there some way just to keep that round cute like graphic anime quality to yeah. each of the sweat beads and they just came back with those like super cute like thick glue like beads that are yes amazing. love it that was perfect so yeah so you see the snot bubbles they're snot oh. bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> perfect <laughs> so Lindsay, you had talked about uh ludwig's score and how it's one of your favorite parts it's absolutely one of my favorite parts of any of the movies as well one of the things that i that stood out so strong is obviously may herself plays the flute but the <laughs> score itself is just very flute heavy where did that come in? Was that a Ludwig thing or was this a, you know, you guys had the vision of she plays the flute, therefore we should have a heavy flute score, but it's awesome. The score is awesome. Yeah, it's exactly that. I mean, I think the fact that, you know, in a weird way, like especially her introduction and obviously therefore her theme yeah. that we're introduced to in the beginning is it again, because she breaks the fourth wall, it's almost like our explanation was like, how would she score her own movie? You know what I mean? Like, and if she's, if yeah. she flute, <laughs> she would score her movie and be like, I'm going to, there's going to be a rad flute solo as part of my theme. <laughs> um, and, it be, and it's a little, and it's kind of how we approached all of it, right? The look of the film, the, the score of the film was kind of very much focused on kind of this protagonist who is so bold and in introducing herself and kind of giving you a sense of who she is that you kind of wanted the score to reflect that too. Yeah. Uh, so that it had this kind of cool, funky new Jack Swing beat to it. Um, yes. She was like, yeah, that's cool. Throw a beat down and then I'm going to play my flute. Like you just kind of got the sense that if she was talking to the composer, that's what she'd want her theme to be. Absolutely. So he was on board. He was completely right there with us as we were talking about it. That's great. That's great. Well, thank you for sharing all of that. I got the wrap up already, um, but thank you so much for taking the time and answering these questions. I can't wait for everybody to see Turning Red because I can't wait to see the rest of it. Julie and I watched it twice in a row immediately and uh, can't wait to see the rest of it. So thank you so much for this movie and the time. Thank we'll you. Talk, talk to you guys later.